Hello there, I'm going to show you how to play Stuck in the Middle with you. So there's an intro in the song that's maybe the trickiest part of the whole thing. I'm going to skip that for now. I'll do that towards the end of the video. And I'll also just show you an easy way to do it if you can't quite manage the more tricky way. But we'll get into the main strumming pattern here and the verses. So I'm just going to hold down a D chord. And then I'm going to play the main strumming pattern over and over just to let you hear how it goes. So what we're going to be doing here is putting in things called dead notes and it makes the guitar sound really kind of chunky and percussive at times like a drum and that's what gives the strumming pattern its life you know and this will sound pretty much exactly like the song itself if you do this pattern so just hold down a D chord and then what I'm going to show you is you're effectively replacing where downs would be with kind of slap on the strings and you're going to have to try and get that evenly placed between where the ups are going to come in. Okay, so I'll do it slowly, then I'll break it down. Okay, so we have a down up at first, which is not too bad. Then we have our first dead note slap okay so the way I want you to think of these is they're just downs but you're not actually letting the chord ring out and you can even just partially take the fingers off the strings a sec so what's happening over here is I'm doing a motion for a down but as I make contact with the strings the back of your hand there is just leaning across the strings to get that dead sound. So we don't want the D chord sounding during those parts. We just want that slap noise. So that's all I want you to practice for now. Down, up, slap. And just keep doing that. And there's no problem you looking over at your strumming hand to really pay attention to this. So as you play that down, the back of your hand is already on the strings to get that chunky sound. And all of these dead notes are going to be occurring on what would naturally feel like down strokes, okay? And then you've got to put an up in. Okay, before another dead note. So try and just add that wee bit. So that's down, up, slap, up, and do another slap. Then we have to add on two more of those ups with slaps in between them. Okay, that would be the full strumming pattern. So everything should be this. Now, if that doesn't make sense, please rewind all that and be patient. Don't just be like, oh, I can't do this. You know, give yourself a chance. Once you get that down, that's really most of the song taken care of, okay? So again, I'm just going to play it on a D chord for you over and over, and I'll try and do it real slow. And I often say in many of my videos and when I'm teaching people in person all the time, try and keep this arm always kind of loose and moving. Now I know it's more challenging putting in those dead notes, but effectively the arm's just doing down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. 
if you were to count that that's one and two and three and four and and in our case here the dead notes are occurring on beats two three and four so you've got those removed and you've just got the ands immediately following them okay so before you go further in the video review all that and then once we get into the rest of the song it's not too bad so i'm going to assume you've got that to some extent if you're watching this bit okay so i'm just going to play through the verse it's four bars of d two bars of g7 and then another two bars of d at the end before we get to a chorus here we go after four Okay, that's the verse that will take care of a lot of the song. So just go over those bits before you move on to the chorus. Now it opens up a bit in the chorus. So we've got A7, C and G, and then a couple of Ds again. So this is how it would sound. So on your A7, the strumming pattern is just one and two and three and four and or constant down ups now keep that pattern going but the next bar just cut it in half half a bar of c and half a bar of g so that's where the song will start to open a bit open up a bit strumming wise And then you go into two bars of D with that strumming pattern we were working on earlier. Then another verse and chorus come around that are all the same. So don't worry about the intro for the minute. You've got the first verse, the first chorus, then the second verse, then the second chorus. So that's all sorted for you. And I'll go through the bridge now. So what we have here is two bars of G7 just with your constant 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and strumming pattern. Then back to two bars of D with that original pattern we learned. Two bars of G7 with that constant strumming again. Then two bars of D, but you're just going to strum it once and let it hold for the duration of two bars. So like so. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then an A minor seven. That's this, this guy here. It's just a normal A minor chord without the third finger. And do the same on that one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then into another verse, okay, it's just got some extra Ds at the start of it. So to put the song in more context, I'm going to play through this next verse for you. Let's talk about the intro then. So there's four bars at the start of the song where you can do the fancy intro or I'll give you a basic thing to do. If you just want to do something easy, hold down a D chord and just kind of strum lightly four bars, okay? You could do any pattern, but just do a basic one like one and two and three and four and four times. Okay, just to do something there. But if you would like to do the fancier intro, keep watching.
and so on. So I'm going to break that down slowly. Got to form this little chord, so it's open fourth string, seven and seven on the four on the third and second strings, and then open high E string. You could do it with any fingers. I like to use my third and fourth finger just to get them nice and upright so that they're not catching any other strings. Now you'll notice there's kind of the down at the start of the bar is missing. So we're going to do one of these rest notes. You don't have to make it the big dead note slaps from before, although I kind of do that a little bit. But kind of just mimic a down stroke at the start of the bar and then you're going to do up down on this chord. So you've got that missing one at the start, which is a kind of missing down, and then up down. Okay. Next shape, just bump that down two frets, so it's going to be 0, 5, 5, 0. Just do a down there, and then put that together. And try and keep this arm loose and moving if possible. And then the next bit after that, I like to keep this third finger glued to this third string all the time. Move it down to fret 4. And then you also need the third fret on the second string to get this chord. So from the 5, that's going to be a down. And then on this chord, it's going to be an up. So I'll put everything together so far. And that's your first bit to get going. Little bit fiddly to get all these strings ringing out. You know, don't worry if you accidentally hit other strings at times. Just when you're working on this, you can clean it up later as you go. Okay, so just get that bit down. So after you just played that last chord with an upstroke, you've got a little rest note there. Just move that down two frets, that shape. So it's going to be still open fourth string all the time, second on the third string, and one on the second string. And you've got an open high E in there. So it's just the same shape, okay? So play an upstroke in that and then a rest. Then we're into the next bar, and again, that first down is missing, so that's where that little rest note is. Then an upstroke, then another one. Take that first fret of the second string, sorry, off. You've got to do a down stroke there. And then put the finger back on to do an up-down. I'm going to go back to the end of the first bar and recap everything. So I hope you enjoyed that today. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe for some more videos.